We have come a long way, seen a lot, sacrificed a lot and learned so much to know trouble coming when we see it. What the EC is doing is a perfect recipe for disaster in this country. There is nothing wrong with the data, over 17 million data that has been captured. If you think that your biometric machines are weak, go and buy another one. If you think that you want to replace your data center, go and replace it. But don't bother Ghanaians to go and take the same biometric features, the names, the dates, and the faces of the very people whom you have already captured. We certainly are not living in normal times this year of our Lord 2020, as we still do battle with understanding COVID-19 and how to survive and live with it. And when our very basic intelligence is challenged and we are told black is white and blue is yellow, it is time to rise and question the realities as we know it, believe in ourselves and fight for the good name of our motherland Ghana. Me ma ji mu die apato ho e hu hia se be yin tele fo na mi ji di se apomodi ensem e hia ye tia tia ne be tu ya den ato aba in the first place just ye ye in se se ya e be bua ne enko ye se se ya be tu ti o ha o atro ye we are not in normal times we are not living in normal times and when our electoral commission is doubly bent on changing the voters register barely six months to a crucial general elections as has never happened in the history of ghana's democracy this is a big cause for alarm it is equally important for that revered institution to ensure that the processes leading to this year's elections are done in consultation with the stakeholders of the nation to prevent unnecessary suspicion and promote a peaceful and cohesive society. You have an IPAC meeting. The issue of a new register is supposed to be discussed. Was it even on the agenda for that meeting? New register was there? That, that meeting was on the 2019 limited registration. Exactly. Uh, so we did the explanation. But you know, it, but, but you, but, can, you, can, no, no, you, can, you can't it, make a decision on a, an, a major issue like that when it hasn't been properly tabled. No, but the fact that you are discussing media registration and then you say that, well, based on what we've discussed, it means that we have a new register. There's no record that it was properly discussed. No, it was. It, it came up. AOB is on the agenda. Or isn't so, okay, so what did what did the NDC say in that no, meeting? No, that meeting, the NDC didn't comment on it. The MPP didn't comment on it. The parties... Nobody didn't, commented. Nobody commented on it. Then we had... A, we so had, then how does that then become... An agreement. If oh no, that was, I'm, I'm, I, I didn't say that was the agreement. If the EC does not become transparent and answer some hard questions, we think they will use a shortcut. We don't know what shortcut it is. But if you are following best practices, if you are being objective and transparent, if you are being thoughtful, careful, diligent, you will not use a shortcut. And that, that shortcut will bring us problems, if not in this election, in subsequent elections. So the debate surrounding the new voters register must be thoroughly examined so we do not undermine the successes we have chalked so far as a nation. We are not living in normal times when the ECOWAS protocols were clearly subscribed to as a nation very clearly state that member states should not make any substantial modifications to the electoral laws in the last six months before a general election unless with the consent of the majority of political actors. And yet, our electoral commission is doubly bent on scrapping the tried and tested existing voter scroll to create a new one and calling for the radical changes to the tried and tested electoral laws as we know it. I am telling you that if the EC attempts to go ahead, they will not succeed, the system will crash, huh? and there will be chaos and confusion. I, I don't wish it. That is why we are cautioning them they should stop. This is not saying no, anybody is going to fight. Oh. Common sense, you want to register people in eight classes of eight, 
and you are bringing them all together, there will be there will be tension, there will be fights, there will be confusion. Now, because of the fact that many people who have the ID card, millions, they don't have the NI card now, and then they have to depend on vouching. So there will be pressure. The process of vouching is longer and more complicated than the ordinary process of registering. So if you put all this together, how many people can they register in a day? So after first day, second day, third day, fourth day, when people now realize that and when they go there, the process is not going fast enough. That's the beginning of it. This is, you don't need rocket science. I'm not prophesying. Simple analogy. I am telling you, they tried the chaos. At a serious risk of contracting the still dreaded COVID-19, the world is still struggling to understand as at June 2020, Ghana's Electoral Commission is still doubly bent on scrapping the existing voters' register to ask over 18 million potential voters to show up and queue up to register to vote at the 2020 general elections. Obia went to me and register during the mass registration phase, you know. You better continuous registration immediately after March 31st of 2020, you know. You better, you better be a NI offices, our baby, and put them baby. And this is our brain, Obia went to me and register, no. Or back to me, I call your office, no, I call register. Why, why the haste? to do a new register now, when we are doing NIA, we haven't finished. We are doing census. We are doing census. Why? No, uh, Mr. Avle, I think, the, uh, I think that's an important question. The EC has had a lot of engagement with NIA. Initially, the EC got the impression, or the EC was told that the NIA should be able to finish registering Ghanaians by December 2019. I think this morning, I heard so far, they've done about 6.2 or so. The EC, we are looking at a registrable population of about 15 to 17 million, even more, because now the register has about 16.8, and there are many people who have turned 18 who are yet to be put onto the register. And if we are supposed to deliver elections on December 7th, I don't think you are going to wait for an institution that told you that in 2019, December, we'll be finishing, but still did not even get to about maybe 30% or 40%. So the EC met and we took a decision that we couldn't, we couldn't depend on the NIA work. An exercise that will require so much more time. Time, a resource that is just not available six months to the elections. We certainly are not living in normal times. It is not up to the electoral commissioner to decide that she will or she will not do what the people of Ghana want. She is there to do what the people of Ghana want in consultation with the people that she's working with and the parties around. Not in consultation with me, myself and I. That's not it. Electronic polls from the most credible of news media houses in the country have shown that the vast majority of Ghanaians are certainly not in favor of going out to queue to enroll into a new voters register for the obvious needlessness of a new register and the fear of needless exposure to the still present scourge of COVID-19. You can see the hectic work that we're going through here. This is not only today. We've started this from the last seventh day up to today. Today we're burying five at a go. We're going to bury more. We only want to elect the public. The COVID is real. And yet, this EC is bent on going ahead with their dangerous plan. Electoral Commissioner Mayor Chasese, Omono, Ede, Nisiseyako, Ah, Chasese, Omo Beto, TPs, the Ede Boy, and Homebank. We saw who said, Woko asu PT, Kura, Sisiano, PPs are doctors, and then I said, You know, so what? We saw who said, You are more one, Omo did two dear Maya, Yabako register in Naya, she has a ship, Nayan Nayan gloves, and Nancy, Yenano, Yabina. Will you step out to queue to get registered and get a voter's ID card? 41% out of a total of 823 votes. Okay, so 41% says yes, we'll step out. We'll step out and get registered. And then 59% saying no. Okay. We're not going to step out. So the majority lies on the majority. majority. To be very honest, safety first. I, I do not see myself going out to join a queue 
uh, to to go through the procedure to, to get registered. To be very honest, uh, COVID-19, we haven't won the battle yet, okay? Uh, people are still losing their lives to it. I know the EC has come up with some safety protocols and all of that, but for me, the worry really is not the existence of, of, of such protocols, but it's enforcement. How feasible is it enforcing, all right? We are not living in normal times when the timing of Ghana's Electoral Commission is forecasting along with the National Identification Authorities on finished work in issuing national identity cards very clearly shows that over 60% of eligible Ghanaian voters are likely not going to be able to get their names onto the new voters' roll if the Electoral Commission is allowed to go ahead with their dangerous plan to create a new voters register in these abnormal times.